Hello guys, today I wanted to make a video uh, explaining how to take proper iridology photographs using a smartphone. You know, we're going to first ex uh, give an example of how to take good eye photographs for blue eyes, um, and then we're going to give an example of how to take good eye photographs for brown eyes. Well, the first thing with these smartphones is remember, the best models nowadays are the newer model smartphones. The best ones are the Samsung uh, model smartphones. They seem to take the best photographs of the uh, brown eyes especially and the blue eyes too. But you can use the iPhones as well, you know, these iPhones. It's just you have to do a couple things that's a little bit more finicky with these. You have to make sure you tap the phone where the iris is because it has to focus on the iris, not on the cheek or on the finger when they're holding the hands, uh, you know, the eyelashes out of the way. So you just have to really make sure it's focusing. You have to make sure the flash is on. And then you do have to use the zoom on the, uh, on the camera settings, uh, you know, before you get ready to take the shot to zoom in some because on the older phones you couldn't do that because it would make it too fuzzy sometimes. But on the newer phones it seems like it works better to get closer to the iris so that it will get a higher resolution. So that's the main thing with the phone to keep in mind. But now we're going to give the example with Kaylee on how to do that. And uh, also we had, uh, discovered about the, the lights. This is a small flashlight. It's uh, actually a headlight where you put it on your head, you know. But the main thing with the flashlights is just remember that you want to get a flashlight that's a small one that only has one light bulb. You can use the flash on the camera, it's a good one too, but you want to make sure it's one light bulb because if it's a flashlight that has several light bulbs, like five of them, you know, in a circle, that will leave too big of a reflection spot on the side of the iris, you know, when you shine it in the eye, you know, either from the front or from the side when you use it for brown eyes. Because brown eyes, you shine the light in from the side, well, blue eyes, you shine the light in from the front to give the smartphones a little bit more added light to pick up the picture, the resolution well, you know, because if you just try to take it even with just the flash sometimes, there's not enough light for the camera to pick up all the details. Um, so that's the main thing to remember about the light is just make sure, but also some of the lights, the new LEDs have a blue tint to the light and that will alter the color of the iris. So you want to make sure that it's a white light to the uh, the white light bulb. And most of the lights on the smartphones and on your some of your small cam uh, flashlights, they're a white light. So that's the ones you want to try to find. Okay, now we'll give right. an example. Okay, and I'm just going to hold my eyelashes back with my top hand and then I'm going to go with my bottom hand and pull my bottom lid down. And I'm not doing it from the side or anything. It just it works best if you just do it like one hand over, one hand under, and then you just look straight in the camera, keep your head straight, don't do any of all this, like, you know, just keep it right there. Yeah. The camera. And then I hold the camera straight at her eye and have the eyeball in the middle of the uh, camera uh, screen. I don't hold it the camera from the side over here because that wouldn't do right. See how it looks? It's from the side. It's not directly on. That messes up my mapping. You know, I want to make sure I have the, the eye right dead in front of the camera, right in the front, and then put the light up there, you know, uh, the light up there, and shine it in the eye. And get the camera as close as you can, or the phone. Are you ready, Kaylee? One, two, three. And uh, that's the basic way to do it. And then you can zoom in on it. And you can look at it. It's a little bit fuzzy, but I can still see a lot of the main things. And you can keep playing with it until you get it just right. But uh, that's how you take uh, the basic shot of a blue eye. You know, you just want to... Just make sure that you zoom in on it enough, see how zoomed in on it is, and then you want to use the light to give it extra lighting, and then you want to uh, just make sure you keep your fingers out of the way as much as you can in the eyelashes. See how she did a pretty good job with that. She had this finger almost a little bit too close, but she still kept it out of the way, because sometimes the camera wants to focus on the, uh, the fingers and the cheek instead of the eye. That's why it's important to tap the screen where the iris is. But okay, now we're going to give an example on how to take photographs for brown eyes with a smartphone because they're much more challenging. It's hard for people. So we'll bring that to you in just a minute. Hello guys. Okay, now we're going to show you how to take proper brown eye photographs. 
Uh, Kaylee's going to take a photograph of uh, my eyes since I'm the only one that has uh, true uh, brown eyes uh, of the three of us. And uh, we're going to, she's going to demonstrate how to do it. Um, she's going to have to hold the, the light with one hand and then I'm going to have to hold my eyelashes open and she's going to have to use the other hand to take the photograph with the uh, phone. So first she's going to take the smartphone and she's going to zoom in on the setting on the camera to get it halfway zoomed in and then she's going to have the flash turned off. That's very important for this uh, situation with brown eyes. You have the flash turned off and then I'm going to use, she's going to use this small flashlight but you want to make sure it's at the right angle and it should be like right from the side of the face. You don't want to have it uh, from the front side or it'll be too much. You definitely don't want to have it like this because that's too front on. It won't get, it won't illuminate the iris. That's the whole purpose of having it from the side of the face is it illuminates the iris at the right angle so you can see all the, the spots and the genetic weaknesses and all the spots on the iris that I can read. Now you don't want to also have it pointed from too far back here either because it's at the wrong angle and this inside of the iris in here will be all too shadowed. You want to make sure you have it at the right angle so all of the iris will be illuminated and I'll be able to see it all. And the inside of the iris over here by the nose won't be too shadowed. Um, you'll be able to tell by where the reflection spot is on the iris when you take the photograph. The reflection spot should be on the edge of the iris. It shouldn't be on the inside part of the iris area. Um, so that's the main thing to remember with brown eyes, you know, hold it from the side. And then again, try to use uh, light with uh, one LED if you can, like we told you with blue eyes. Or you can use another cell phone, you know, another cell phone besides the one that's taking the photograph and you can use it for the light on the side. So now we'll get Kaylee and I'm gonna demonstrate how to do it. Um, and then we'll, I'll talk to you about Afterwards, I'll talk to you about how to properly send the eye photographs to me um, through an email. All right, you want to do this one? Too? Yeah. I grab my eyelids again, like Kelly showed you in the first one. And then I pull them out of the way, and I try my best to hold my fingers out of my way too. Is that good? Or my uh, home? your top. I can. I can't okay. top of your iris. So she has to tell me what's working. Can you see? Or am I got my? Uh, uh, and then sometimes you might have to let the, uh, your eyes rest in between shots, because trust me, guys, I do understand. I have a lot of uh, uh, um, respect or not respect. What's sympathy. the right word? Sympathy for how challenging it is. With uh, the uh, it makes your eyes burn really bad when you touch your eyes. But you have to try to get those eyelashes, especially if you have long eyelashes, out of the way. So just try your best. To grab, yeah. See, she's holding, me, she's showing me on the phone here, so I can see it myself. Then I can try to get them out of the way there the best go. I can. Okay, now she can try. And zoom in halfway. Five. No. Not supposed to like that. Yeah, and um, it's not. Uh, not the best. Your finger not, is kind of in the way. It's not the best, and my finger was a little bit in the way, and the eyelid was too much in the way. We can try to do it again to show a little bit better of an example. See, and, that, and then when you can see that, you keep looking at it and keep being diligent and patient with uh, the process because yeah. you may have to take lots of different shots. You know, it's very. So, and it, then let your eye rest. Yeah, let your eyes rest, and you know, you rest yourself too, and just keep trying, keep working with it. And uh, you'll eventually get some good ones if all you have access to is a smartphone. But I really encourage you guys, if you have anyone that you know that has a good DSLR camera with a macro lens, uh, those, those would give you much higher quality uh, resolution shots, you know. Or go to a, a professional photographer and get them to help you with it. That would be good too, you know. All right. Look in the camera, look straight in the camera, and tilt your head back a little bit. Okay, good. That was pretty good. Is that one better? Yeah. Yeah, that one's better. The eye's a little bit dilated. She could have held the light a little bit more from the side. It is still a little bit fuzzy, but guys, you get the premise. That's the basis of how to do it, you know? And so we don't have to keep giving you examples. That's just the basics of how to do it. But now let's talk about how do you want to send the eye photographs to me? Well, first off, 
remember after you get the shots of the iris picture you know uh, after you get those pictures of the iris uh, if you zoom in enough with the camera on here you don't have to, you shouldn't have to crop it or anything and actually I don't want you to do that let me crop it if I need to when I get the picture from you because sometimes when people try to crop the photograph it will lower the resolution you don't even have to put the right or left on there because I can always tell right or left because I can see the uh, corner of the eye you know I can be able to tell and I know that's a right eye um, so just send me the photograph in its original way that was taken on the phone and send me the original size of the picture. Don't reduce the size when you send it in an email because that will make it digitally pixelated. That's very important. Now, nowadays with these digital cameras, we have a, a lot of people send me their eye photographs and they're digitally pixelated and I can tell because the picture is real small. It's not a, it's not a big enough picture and then and when I try to zoom in on it, it looks really pixelated and it's bad. So don't reduce the size. Send it in the original size that it was taken. And if it's too large to send in an email, then you may have to use a file sharing program like Dropbox or something like that. And that's also what you may have to do sometimes if you find someone that can take photographs of your eyes with a big camera, with a DSLR camera, with a macro lens. That's what you want if you have access to that kind of photograph, I mean that kind of camera as well. Now, so guys, I hope this was a good video for you to have a basic understanding on how to take eye photographs. I've been wanting to make a video like this for a while to show you guys how to do it in video format. I also have a PDF that goes into this detail too. But um, just, you know, try your best to stay as patient as you can through the process and hope that your loved ones will have patience with you too because I know it is a very challenging situation uh, to do with a, a phone because a phone doesn't have a macro lens. So you, it's hard to expect for this phone lens to be able to pick up a very small, high, uh, I mean, very small detailed uh, picture, you know, so that's why really our best option is find someone that you know that's a professional photographer that can help you with it and that has a good, good equipment, you know. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the video and if you have any questions or anything um, or if you have challenges with it, just reach out to me and I'll look at your photographs and what you've done so far and if I need to tell you to adjust it in any way, I'll tell you. But uh, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. You know, give me a thumbs up, like the video, and subscribe to my channel. And you take care and have yourselves a good day. Bye-bye.